Hey guys, so the Glam Dr. Mona and I have decided that we're gonna do a top 10 Tuesdays instead of a top five Tuesdays this week. And if you guys are new to my channel, this is a collaboration that I do with the Glam Dr. Mona on Tuesdays and we try and do it as often as we can, but uh, life gets a little bit busy. So actually we didn't do it last Tuesday, we did it the Tuesday before. And this week we're gonna be talking about spring summer lipsticks. So I'll leave a link to her video down below in my description box, definitely check it out. Um, and as usual, I have cheated, so I'm gonna be talking about 11 lip products, but one is kind of an option to another, and well, why don't we just go ahead and get started? And I'll start with that, actually. I'll start with what I have on my lips, and that is the Poppy Lip Shine from Hermes, and it is, um, I thought it was limited edition, but many of you said that this is part of Hermes's permanent line, so I'm very, very happy to hear that. This is a very sheer orange-tinted lip color and it has little gold sparkles in there. So I have it on my lips actually. I put it on and then I proceeded to drink coffee. So let me reapply. So it just has this really pretty light orange tint and then there's a lot of like gold shimmers in there. It's an extremely moisturizing formula and I don't feel the uh, like golden bits in there, which is fantastic. And I'm a huge, huge fan of orange lipstick, especially in the spring, summer. I just think it's so, it's just so fruity and juicy looking, which of course always reminds me of warmer weather. And I think this is great if maybe you're a little bit shy of orange or you're just not comfortable wearing orange lipstick. I know that a lot of people don't think it looks good on them. I think it looks good on most people. I'm a big fan of it. So this is wonderful if maybe you're warming up to the idea or maybe you love the idea of orange but you just maybe don't think it looks that great on you. I think this is an awesome alternative. I think this is pretty much sold out everywhere but if this is part of the regular line it is definitely going to be coming back into stores and i will try to remember to keep my description box where i link everything i'll try to remember to keep that updated and link to any retailers that i see this product actually pop up that is the hermes poppy lip shine and as an alternative to that um, I'm gonna mention the Hermes Orange Boite Satin Lip Color. Um, they have this particular color in a satin finish and a matte finish. I'm personally a big fan of satin finish. So I have it in the satin finish. I have worn this for you guys many, many times. And I apologize, I'm not gonna be doing lip swatches because my bottom lip right down here like cracked. I don't know what's going on. I, I have allergy, whatever, it's a long story, but it cracked, it's really, really dry. And I switched my lipstick twice today and that was like enough. But I am doing arm swatches and I think you've seen all of these lip colors on me at least fairly recently. Uh, so I apologize, no lip swatches today. But back to the orange block color from Hermes. And like I was saying, you've seen me wear this quite a few times. This is orange. So this is like the alternative to the poppy lip shine if you're not afraid of orange. This is just a wonderful, wonderful orange color for you. It is rock solid orange. There's not a lot of red in there. Some other really bright colors that I'm gonna be talking about all have kind of like a reddish tomato tinge to them. This one is the most like straight up down the center orange. So this is basically one recommendation for me. This is my cheat here. So next up is the lipstick that I've had in my collection the longest. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Bitch Perfect lip color. And I am wearing this in yesterday's video when I talk about the Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette. That's what I have on my lips. I just love this pink color. I think it looks so, so pretty on my skin. I, I have a hard time with like cooler nudes. Sometimes there's a little bit too much white in there and it makes my skin tone look a little bit sallow. It just does weird things to my skin tone. This one I think has just like a drop of warmth in there and I just think it looks so, so beautiful. This was probably one of the first Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks that I fell like head over heels in love with. And I'm really surprised to say that this lipstick is still good and I've had this probably for like four or five years now, and it's still fine. So that's definitely a plus too. But this shade is just, ugh. Oh. It's like every time spring rolls around, I think of this lip color. It's so, so pretty. And I think the last time Mona and I did a spring lipstick picks, this appeared in that one as well. So that is the Charlotte Tilbury Bitch Perfect. And this happens to be in her kissing formula, not her matte revolution. Again, I'm just not the biggest fan of a matte finish. So I'm very pleased that this color comes in her kissing formula. It's just, oh, it's so comfortable. It's pigmented, it's moisturizing. It's just, it's great. It's great on the lips. And then next up is something I've been talking about quite a bit. I've been wearing this for at least the past couple of months, but this is the Westman Atelier Lip Suede uh, Palette, Lip Palette. 
and it has four different colors in there. And I have fallen head over heels in love with this lip palette. I am not a lip palette person. I've had other lip palettes that I've had to declutter because they just sat in my collection. I just never use them. But there's something about this particular lip palette and I, I can't figure out what exactly it is. I think it's the color selection. They just really, really speak to me. And I think it's also the fact that they go on really easily and really beautifully with my fingers. I feel like the, all the other lip palettes that I've tried, I had to use a brush. I had to use a brush and when it comes to a lip product, I, I'm not the biggest reapplier when I go out. Sometimes I'll just throw like a lip balm on and just kind of call it a day. But when I'm wearing colors like this, I like to be able to reapply it or touch up. And this palette is really easy to touch up because I can go with a finger and just tap really, really easily. There's something about this formula where it applies just really evenly. It's not I don't know, I guess I've had that problem with other lip palettes where I feel like I can't just kind of like tap or swipe on. I need to use a brush and kind of like tenderly apply it and that's just too high maintenance for me. I really, really love the formula of this. And then the colors are just wonderful. Like I use this one the most. This is like the most orange, I, I guess you could say. And then this rust color I absolutely love. And then there's one that's like a little bit cooler. And then there's this really cool like mauve down here, which is perfect if you wanna like ombre out your lips. It's just a really, really fun palette. The colors work really well together. I think it's obvious that like a makeup artist created this because I don't think any average person would kind of put all of these colors in one palette together, but it totally works and I love it. And the finish of this lip suede is definitely on the matter side. And again, another reason why I, I was surprised at how much I like this. So even though it has like kind of a natural finish, I wouldn't say it's like a dry flat matte. It's just more of a natural finish, less shiny than a lot of lip colors that I like. It's comfortable and it just seems to work really, really well. So I'm a huge, huge fan of this lip palette. This has definitely appeared in one of my favorites and I've been using this constantly and this is just great to throw into your purse. It has a magnetic closure. It has like a little mirror in there. It's bright red so you can't miss it at the bottom of your purse. You can just find it very easily. I love this, absolutely love this. Okay, I, I have another Hermes lip color, um, but I promise this is the last one, but this is um, the Corel Fu number 51. This one is limited edition. This may or may not be coming back into stock. I'm not sure. I think Saks was taking pre-orders for it. They've taken that down. Anyway, I thought I would mention it because I love this color and I was wearing this in um, a Will I Buy It video where I had my puffy sleeve white top and I just... Oh, just love this lip color. It's like a super bright, orangey, peachy pink. Let me actually hold it up next to the orange blot. Here's the orange blot and here's the Corel Fu. This is another stunning, bright, perfect for spring, summer color. I feel like this color is a lot more forgiving than something like the orange blot because it has a little bit more of that pinkiness in there and it's, oh, it's just gorgeous. And these Hermes lip colors, they're so comfortable, they're so pigmented. They have a little bit of a fragrance, which I know may bother some of you, so I do wanna mention that. It has a little bit of a fragrance, um, but I don't taste it, and it does dissipate very quickly. Like, I've had this Poppy Lip Shine on now for, what, 10, 15 minutes since I put it on, and already I feel like the fragrance has dissipated. But that's the number 51 limited edition from Hermes. Next up is another really, really bright color, but this one has a lot more red in it, and this is the... Um, Coral Kiss from Jimmy Choo. And this one um, is in the thumbnail of my Jimmy Choo lipsticks video. This is just such a like power, fierce kind of like lip color. And let me hold it up to the Corel Fus. So it has like less white in there. It's just a little bit deeper. It has a little bit more red in there. For me, like in the fall winter time, I like a more primary red. And for spring, summer, I feel like this takes the place of a primary red. It's just so good. And I feel like this works on pretty much any skin tone. It's just stunning. And these Jimmy Choo lipsticks are really pigmented. They go on like one swipe. They're very, very nourishing. They're very moisturizing. I feel like I'm saying the same thing for all of these colors. So much like the Hermes, I believe Jimmy Choo came out with um, their colors in both a satin and a matte finish. And so I got the satin, of course, uh, because I prefer it to the matte. And so it is going to be a lot more moisturizing and nourishing than the matte finish. But look at this bullet. It has the Python print in there. And then it's got the <laughs> really over the top kind of packaging with 
the gold ball, and I believe this is supposed to look like a stiletto heel. Isn't that cool? So that is the Jimmy Choo Coral Kiss. Next up, I have yet another very bright color. Uh, but if you're a fan of these colors, um, the little nuances are really, really important. So this is the Chantecaille uh, Lip Veil in Frangipani. This one is probably closest to the Hermes Corail Fu color. I'm mispronouncing that one. 51. It's just a little bit more orange. There's like a little bit more pink in the Hermes. But what I love so much about these lip veils is the formula. I mean, talk about comfortable. Oh, these go on like a bomb, but they're also really, really pigmented as you can tell by the swatch here. Oh, they're just absolutely stunning. There's no scent to them at all, which is definitely my preference. They just go on really smoothly and they just, they really, really kind of feel like butter on the lips. They're just so, so good. This color is amazing. This actually came out um, with Chantecaille's summer 2019 collection. It came out with like the Goa bronzer, her, their real bronzers in the red compact that I absolutely love. And so I believe these are limited edition, but I think they're still around. So I'm gonna link it down below in my description box if you are interested. But this color, this formula, oh my God, it's amazing. So that's the Chantecaille Lip Veil in Frangipani. And the remaining three that I have are like tinted balms. And these are ones that I end up kind of always throwing into my handbag. Um, the first one is a Rouge Coco Flash in Chicness. This is just a basic nude and the Rouge Coco Flash uh, formula, again, super moisturizing, super nourishing, just really, really comfortable on the lips. The formula out of everything that I've talked about so far is thinner. So when you put it on and it feels moisturizing, it feels a little bit thinner. It doesn't feel quite as thick as like a balm balm. So it's really kind of like a low maintenance kind of formula. And I love it with this chicness color because it's really just, super low maintenance. It's one of those no mirror applying kind of like lip products. So love that one. And then I have a Tom Ford lip balm in Paradiso. So this is basically like all of those bright colors I was talking about, but in lip balm form. So if you don't want such a color commitment from those other ones, which have a lot more pigment in there, this is a really nice alternative because it's easy to put on. It gives you that kind of like bright color, but it's not quite as pigmented. You don't need a mirror with this. It's really good. The formula is really comfortable. Um, so that's the Tom Ford Lip Balm in Paradiso. And last but not least is the No More Orchids Tinted Balm from Gucci. And this one is very, very pink. And when you put it on as a balm, it brightens up your lips. It's just such a beautiful summertime like wash of color. So those are all of my lip color picks. I am a complete idiot. I forgot the last lipstick that I wanted to mention, and it is the Gucci Agatha Orange Satin Color. It rolled off my vanity, so I just forgot to talk about it. But this orange color from Gucci is not quite as orange as the Hermes um, Orange Bot. It has a lot more red in there. It's more of like a tomato red. It's like a very, very warm red. And the satin formula from Gucci is, um, again, <laughs> like I've been saying the entire video, very moisturizing, very nourishing. Uh, but it's almost like an amped up balm. I don't feel like it's the most pigmented. So it is a little bit easier to wear. It is a little bit lower maintenance than say like the Jimmy Choo or the Hermes. Um, it's a little bit closer in pigmentation to the Chantecaille Lip Veil, which is also like a really amped up kind of balm. So anyway, that is the last lipstick I wanted to mention in this video. And here they are all swatched on my arm in the order that I mentioned them. I love all of these and I just know I'm gonna be reaching for these 11 lip colors over and over this season. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what some of your favorite lip colors are for the spring summer seasons down below in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Do not forget to check out the Glam Dr. Mona's video. I can't wait to hear what her picks are and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.